Hi, welcome back to Little Blue Dot Art. I'm Sam. Thanks for coming along today and supporting me by watching my video. If you'd like to further support me, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe. So this week I'm continuing with my fairy tale series and this week I'm tackling Pinocchio. Pinocchio is a story that I do remember liking as a child and I remember watching it on the television in the children's hour of television after school. Um, so, yeah, it's it was a very long story in the t television series and very had a great influence on what I would say would be my illustrative interests. Um, but the place that I mostly associate it with is with my Italian friend, Luisa. She is the godmother to my youngest son and... She gave the story to him in Italian when he was little so that he could listen to it at bedtime to improve his Italian. Well, he doesn't speak Italian. <laughs> Maybe one day she'll teach it to him. But whenever I think of Pinocchio, I always think of those discs that we did listen to at bedtime sometimes. So I started doing the picture, first of all, on my Procreate, on my iPad, because I knew there was going to be a lot of detail that I wanted to get in. And I wanted to have some sort of basic reference before I transferred it over onto a painting, what's called a painting paper. I hope that you enjoy this. So sit back, relax, get yourself a cup of tea or whatever it is that you drink and watch me. I think this week I can say draw.
I have a few more details I'd like to include in the picture, but this is a place I feel quite comfortable leaving the drawing this week. Uh, I'm not going to paint because I think I'd like to start painting with the next video, the next Pinocchio video. So I hope that you've enjoyed watching how I transferred the um, sketches on the Procreate uh, pro from the Procreate program to the watercolor paper. So just in case it wasn't clear, I sketched the image that I wanted to create on my iPad. I then transferred that to my home computer, printed it out on an old copier that we have, and then tr put the copy underneath the watercolour paper on my light board and copied it through that way. There are a few ways you can do this but this is the process that I decided to go with this week. So I hope that you've enjoyed watching me draw. Um, please consider giving that like and subscribe. I've enjoyed the drawing today and I look forward to seeing you all again next week so take care of yourself. Goodbye!